uh, what other like uh, crazy trips do you want to do that you haven't done yet? Oh, there's a lot, man. I mean, the one that I've had on my bucket list since I was a... So there's a couple. One is, there's one really one place on Earth left where there's true cannibals. It's Papua New Guinea. Mm. And um, unlike the missionary that went in, you know, with an agenda, I would just love to actually see these these cannibalistic tribes. So I'd love to do that. Nobody has successfully, unless it's happened very recently and I'm not aware of, successfully done source to sea of the Congo River from guerrilla warfare, from crazy waterfalls, disease, that's an expedition I'd like to try. And then when it comes to wildlife, I mean, the list is infinite. There's so many of these animals that I'm desperate to try and find. Th those sound like very dangerous trips. Like visiting cannibals? Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know how to say this without sounding arrogant, but that's what sounds exciting to me. Right. You know, is giving that shot that other, taking that shot that other people aren't taking. So... Have people visited these cannibals and come out of there before? Yep. yep. There was a there was a Nat Geo photographer who got some incredible photos. They're called the Caraway Tribe, and um, he went in there. Took him a while for them to kind of assimilate and get comfortable, and then he got these photos that are just mind blowing. Now, how often do they practice cannibalism? It is a. It's not a daily thing. It is a spiritual thing where they actually eat the eat the w other tribes deceased after a war or an intertribal conflict as a way to like ward off bad spirits so it's not like a daily thing it's not like they're going out hunting each other it's more like when these things occur they they have to eat a certain kill or a certain body to keep evil spirits at bay do they get that version of mad cow's disease that cannibals get was it Jakob's Krutzfeld I know what you're talking about yeah. I'm not sure I think it's probably infrequent enough that they're not getting it because like in the in the South Pacific they got that all the time but they were eating each other like all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think you get it from nerves, right? And nerve tissue or brains. It's brain. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's where they're getting it from. Mm -hmm. It's essentially mad cow disease. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Is this guy hanging out with them there? Yeah, it starts mm. off with sound and he's eating something. I don't think oh, he's eating on. people with them. He's going to eat a fucking person? That's, 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 that's not, not a person. person. That's a pig something or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think they'd show that. But yeah, Ooh. look at the tribe. I mean, they just look amazing. Yeah, but it is just so incredible that there's still people that live the way they lived many, many, many thousands of years ago, and they essentially just get their resources from the land, from right. the area they live, and they're they're just rocking it old school. And then for me, it, like the cultural significance is huge, but what's the biological area like? You're right. right. Nobody's Whoa, going in guy. there. How much biological study has been done? The right. answer is none. And these people have large pop. Like, look at that lady. Oh, my <laughs> Isn't God. Isn't she amazing? Wow. Yeah. Um, have you uh, read um, Sapiens? Sapiens. No, I'm not sure. Uh, it's a, evolutionary book yeah, about what human is history. Noah Yuval Harari. I yeah. think that's a, the name of his. He's amazing. Writing and, it uh, down. Yeah, it's a, it's a great book. But one of the things that they talk about in the book was these nomadic tribes that would yeah, that's it. Uh, Yuval Noah Harati. I fucked up his name. Um, they would talk about these uh, nomadic tribes that would kill the old ladies, like kill the people that were burdens, and like just shows and eat like them. No, just kill them. Just, just talking about like when people became a problem. Right. They would just kill them, and this was normal. But they got along together great. Everybody sure. was like laughing and smiling. Everybody's really friendly. But as soon as someone seemed to be a problem, they'd fucking club them from behind and. Just, it, it's like this is gonna sound just awful but doesn't that make sense it kind of does it sucks but it kind of does yeah. right like yeah. you're a burden on the community or on the society you know there's no fucking old folks home out there yeah like that's it's crazy like to us in our culture that's absurd but as a culture removed from the rest of the world makes sense like yeah. you're a burden you know you've had a good life it's time to move on. And they're nomadic. That's the other thing. It's like they have to keep moving. So if someone stops and <laughs> like there's one guy, he was sick. And so they left him on a tree and he became covered with buzzard shit because <laughs> the vultures would just sit over him and wait for him to die. But he eventually recovered oh my and God. he caught up with the rest of the tribe. And for the rest of the, they, they called him something like buzzard shit or something <laughs> like that. That was their, their nickname for him. Yeah. Imagine so. being that guy. Imagine sitting under a tree, looking up at vultures, being like, it's moments till I die, and they're yeah. going to drop down and eat me. At least they're polite enough to wait for you to die. It's like true. They don't just, the guy probably couldn't have fought them off. If that was a hyena. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs>